Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'll be showing you my brand new Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 series, zero turn mower. The cutting width is 54 inches. I found this one at Tractor Supply for $3,799. Right now they're running a 0% interest deal. So payments are $80 for 48 months. I had a 2003 zero turn Cub Cadet that was a really good mower, but it was time to replace it. So I stuck with the brand since I was happy with my old one. This particular mower features a 24 horsepower, 725 cc Kohler 7000 V-Twin OHV series four cycle engine, which reduces vibration for a smoother ride. It delivers more power while decreasing fuel consumption. It also has a dual hydro gear 2020 EZT hydrostatic drive system, fan cooled 10 cc pumps and wheel motors on each drive wheel which provide optimal torque and speeds up to seven miles per hour in forward and three and a half miles per hour in reverse. The steel blades are 18 inches in length. The overall body is made of a two by two inch tubular steel frame and has a super comfortable 18 inch high back seat with an advanced polymer seat suspension system, which is wonderful since my yard takes about an hour and a half to mow. It comes equipped with an 11 gauge 54 inch fabricated triple blade high lift deck with reinforced leading edges that result in finer clippings, fewer clumps, reduced stragglers, and increased evenness. It's protected by the Cub Cadet Triple Guard Corrosion Defense System with e-coat and a lifetime warranty. To change the deck height, just push this pedal and turn the control knob. There are 15 quarter inch deck height adjustments from one inch to four and a half inches. The lap bars are adjustable. Here's how you customize them if you'd like to. The hand grips are ergonomically designed for comfort and the power steering gives you control over the mower. To start, push this lever in the choke position and turn the key, then back it off until the engine runs in the range of your choice. The PTO is right here, and I like that the lap bars act as a parking brake. On my old model, you had to take that extra step and engage the parking brake if you needed to get off to, say, move an obstruction or a stick. The wheels on the front measure 11 by six by five inches and have smooth treads. They pivot 180 degrees and the rear wheels have traction and measure 20 by 10 by eight inches. Both sets are designed to minimize turf damage and provide a better ride on uneven ground at higher speeds. I love this next feature because maintenance on my old deck was almost impossible to reach. On this new mower, you can easily get to the wheels and the belts underneath the deck by lifting this hinged and removable floor pan. It's covered with a soft rubber floor mat that you can put your feet on. There's also a lever you can pull located right here that will allow you to easily push it around in your garage if needed. The front casters are offset and align with the blade edge for trimming precision while maintaining line of sight and stable balance. It even has a cup holder located right here, which is something I never used on my old mower because it was such a bumpy ride. I didn't dare take a drink with me. The mower has dual LED headlights that come on automatically if the lighting conditions are low. There is a tow hitch here on the back to cart around smaller wagons. And I saw online, there are really cool accessories like baggers, there's even a plow, which I might end up getting. If I do, I'll create a separate video showing that in action. The fuel tank is located right here and holds three and a half gallons of unleaded gasoline. The recommended oil type is 10W30 and is refilled right here. The capacity is two quarts or 64 ounces. This model is residential, not commercial grade, but it is ideal for mowing slight rolling hills and obstacles in yards and has a runtime of four acres. You can cut on slopes not more than 15 degrees. The front has a lot of extra safety measures to remember to pick up large things. It has this person getting sprayed with debris. 
Also, don't ever mow with the uh, this flap raised. Um, it's telling you to keep it in the down position. Other things, make sure that there's nobody around in your yard. Don't. Why would you ever ride with a child on front? But I suppose people are known to do stupid things. Uh, make sure your family's inside, not outdoors. I do have a friend whose son was push mowing and ran over one, like one of those claw things that you use in the yard and it flew within inches of her. So I can understand why they don't want people out while you're mowing. Uh, don't use on a slope greater than 15 degrees. They show what all would happen if you don't. Oh, look there, I'm happy and I'm within limits. Don't mow, uh, make sure that if you're gonna be by a cliff that you stay uh, 10 feet away and also um, water, stay 10 feet away. Um, don't mow, let's see, don't mow when it's what? When there's a forest fire? Oh, don't mow anything over 10 inches high. Don't mow over leaves. What happens is you get a bunch of them built up underneath the deck, it gets hot. You put your mower away and lo and behold, you have a fire. Don't, what, refill when it's too hot? And just when it's too hot overall, park your mower inside. The battery is 12 volts and located right here. It is deck wash compatible, although mine didn't come with a setup, so you might have to buy that extra. Also, I don't see where the hour meter is, so I'm not sure how you're supposed to gauge that. It weighs 600 pounds and measures 47 inches high by 80 inches long by 65 inches wide. These mowers are made in the USA, which I always like to see, and it does have a three-year unlimited hour warranty. It has a limited lifetime warranty on the frame and fabricated deck shell. Let me know if you have any questions on things I didn't cover. And if you're not a current subscriber, I hope you will hit that follow button. Also, don't forget to follow me. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook as well. As always, I thank you so much for following. And until next time, take care.